Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and take a look through the Illinois Symposium Vendor Hall. Let's do this right now. Okay, coming in the main entry, you see? It's a much larger vendor hall than what I was expecting. So let's go ahead and go through it. Let's see everybody. I'll start way down here at the end. I know people are always asking about uh, all the different places I go to. So, QRS, Daytrend. Daytrend's got a good concept. Hey, what's going on? My competitors. <laughs> so, I heard that we're going out drinking tonight and we're wearing the USOC shirts, so that should be good. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, no, that's, that's good. USOC is always a good time. TriMG Solutions, uh, you know, I did a, a video where I, I toured their facility. It was excellent. Uh, let's see. Sorry, guys, if I'm moving too fast. I have uh, Exclusive Medical Solutions. We have RSTI. We have Crothel, and my kids love these things. Hey, how's it going? Do you recognize your face from the internet? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. We're doing a walkthrough right now to see what all is going on. My kids love these little squishy things. They, they throw them at each other all the time. I let them do it. So that was Crothel. We got GE. That was one of the large crates that came out. Super cool. Um, GE's got their new anesthesia machine. We'll take a look at it in a moment. So the other company that I want to highlight is Relink Medical. You know, uh, Relink has sent me uh, medical equipment, and uh, that's, be, that's allowed me to do some of the videos that I've been doing lately. And uh, Relink buys and sells used medical equipment, and uh, they do a whole bunch of stuff. They do auctions, uh, eBay, all sorts of stuff, but that's Relink Medical. That's the guys that have been supporting me. Much appreciated. So we got GE, of course, GE doing their thing. And on the other side is the other G. Holy cow. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Now this is a new format. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Go right ahead. Do what you're doing, man. Beautiful layout on the screens. That's new. I haven't seen that yet. So this is a uh, new one. Oh, all right. Well, I haven't seen one of those in the field yet. Um, that's the... So this is the one that you can move the different types of cables to different ports. All right. Here we go, guys. So this right here is where the, the portable, uh, transportable monitors, and, and you can move. Who are you with? Just wondering. FOBI? No, no, no. So I've got the biggest uh, YouTube channel for medical technology. Okay. Uh, so I go around the shows, and I see some of the coolest and newest products. So... You're like, who the hell is this dude? Yeah, you're not the this, this, this dude comes around and I see some of the coolest stuff on the market and I show it to the rest of the world. That's basically what I do. And uh, this one here, a lot of people told me about it and I think I've caught glimpses of, uh, of it in the distance. But uh, the interchangeable uh, cables on the side and whatnot, yep. that's, that's, that's new. It's interesting. Transportable. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Just some guy with a camera. That's all, guys. Some guy... Uh, so traditional uh, gas module, and uh, you can see the storage of the, the new style uh, anesthesia anesthetants. Still a bellows-driven machine. Uh, a lot of people still prefer that. You know, it depends on the practitioner. Let's see. So we have Ace Vision. So they do uh, medical imaging. We've got Metasource. Metasource, I've done some stuff with them before. They've been good. Here we got Mr. Clint with PioBio. Uh, PioBio supported me for a long time. Mr. Clint, how you doing, man? So PioBio does repairing of all sorts of different patient monitors. They sell parts. They do a whole bunch of stuff. Medigate, hey, how you doing? No, no, no. I'm here on my own accord. Um, I have a YouTube channel where we talk about medical technology and what's been happening in the industry. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm, Sorry. I'm just floating around. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Oh, 
the cash bar. <laughs> of course, that is the cash bar. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yes, wow, look at the, all the hoard that they got out. That's what I'm talking about. They got some popcorn. My kids love that popcorn. Um, they got you. little mini screwdrivers, the little throw footballs. Good stuff. Good stuff. Medical equipment doctor. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Olivia Wooten. All right, medical equipment doctor. They uh, buy and sell equipment. They repair equipment. They do all sorts of stuff. So there's all stuff that we repair currently in house. Imaging, patient monitoring, surgical, respiratory, yeah. infusion pumps, and a great resource for cables. And you guys have been expanding. Correct. So I, I know over the last couple of years, you guys have been doing quite well. Yeah. And uh, we're excited to see where it goes in the all future. Right. Thanks, Justin. Thanks. Elite Biomedical Solutions, I've seen them, talked with them. They have uh, parts, they sell parts, they sell um, all sorts of stuff. Elite does some cool stuff. Let's see, we got Alpha Source. Alpha Source, that's, that's an old school one. Like, uh, used Alpha Source for years. So, uh, it's all good, don't worry about me. Uh, JS2 Medical is represented. Very interesting. They have a assortment well, um, of components. And, we're off. and then we do have a fluke dealer. Hey man, how's it going? So fluke always has uh, obviously some of the most interesting stuff on the market. And again, guys, I know I keep saying that I'm going to do videos on some of that, and uh, I will. I I, I got to quit touring around, and soon enough, I will be able to do it. So. So PyQ, one of this event sponsors. PyQ is an interesting, I think it's an asset location service. Yep. yep. Asset management. Okay. And, hey, of course, these guys. What's going on, guys? Oh, I'm doing quite well. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. We're, you'll, you'll see me again in a week. Yes, so, come on, Expo. Over, MD Expo. Yes, I'm, I'm looking amazing. forward to it. Everybody's kind of jazzed about that one. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. All right. So that's the guys from HTM Drive and MedWrench. Absolutely. Hey. Hi, Justin. Let's see. Verathon. So, Verathon. Hey, man. Yeah, glass beam. Glass beam's got a cool technology. We got Philips Healthcare. Oh, Philips got a beautiful display. There's one thing I can say about bright and vibrant displays. I don't even know if my camera can pick it up, but Philips it's got a beautiful looking product. And we've seen the GE solution for a portable monitor, and here's Philips. Now, I do believe that this is a better layout because it's a problem that nobody really said uh, needed solving. You know what the SPO2 is, you know where to plug it in. You don't need to interchange it between all the ports. Uh, that was never really an issue. But here you can see they have entitled CO2 uh, as an attachment, along with another arterial pressure. Kind of a cool little monitor. Looks nice. That's the future, guys. And of course, we got Rigel, Rigel Medical. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, man. I always come in and uh, always like tour and some of the stuff that we got going on. The Unisim. Oh, hey. I don't think I've seen this guy before. Okay. That's cool. Unisim. I do wish the display was a little bit different. But as far as the form factor, I think that's really cool. Oh, your video. Oh, it's all good. Trust me, I, I, I'm i quite well aware of Rigel's products. <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyway, the Unitherm, uh, definitely going to be interested in seeing that one again soon. Um, holy cow, now they got the doors open and really opened this whole entire place up. All right. Let's see. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to uh, walk and talk. And the camera angle is changing constantly. One of my favorite companies, Novolo. <coughs> I see medical. Hey, how's it going, guys? How are you doing? I see you medical. 
definitely been in the industry for a while. Hey, sir, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Let's see. We got Marquee Medical. We got Block Imaging. Block Imaging. I just seen their facility the other day. It's a large, newer facility. It's beautiful. Um, med service repair. Ooh, washers. <laughs> scope washers. Um, scope washers are always just dirty. Just dirty. Okay. So we got the, the guys from Sage. Now, Sage does a bunch of cables, and they actually do a lot of repairs now uh, through one of their new ventures. Um, that's very cool. Hey guys, how's it going? Good, how are you? I have not seen the Mind Ray anesthesia. A lot of people are talking about how easy this one is to service and how it's a pleasure. So uh, some of your uh, advocates out there have been telling me about this and I have not seen one right. in person yet. Well, so this is our newest. This is the A8. Uh, we also have an A9. Okay. And the difference between this and the other machines is the volume exchanger here. Okay. So we went away with from a traditional bellows. We use a volume exchanger. So basically, to, for maintenance, you just pop this guy out, autoclave it, pop it back in. What? Yep. So you got to pull some of this out. Okay. It takes about two minutes. Right. Not even. Plus this lever here, and it pops right out. And there's no your breathing kidding. system. Yeah. So this is a turbine-based system, right? No. So it's volume exchanger. So basically, the air is going to push from one end, the okay. drive gas, and then the oh, change in volume okay. with the pressure of the gas is going to push your No kidding. Gas yeah. That's... That's amazing. So this is an interchangeable cassette. It just, it almost looks like a toy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. because it, it, it's completely sealed. So if, if something goes wrong with this or whatnot, would we ship this back? Yeah, we just, honestly, we have a three-year warranty on the machine. So okay. we just replaced the volume exchanger. So that's what the, the actual looks, uh, mechanics cow. of it look like. That is... Amazing. The screen okay. itself is a 360 degree rotating what? screen. Oh my gosh, so they don't have to rotate the machine. Correct. And then uh, with our A9, which uses the electronic vaporizers, okay. you can actually control the vaporizers from the screen itself. Let's get a look down the back. Super cool. We get the accessory mounting options. There's rails built in, more rails. And then our flow sensors are probably about every three years need to be replaced. Oh, really? You can feel okay. it. We don't have any drive gas. You can feel there's a warming sensor in there. Right, right. warming plate. Okay, so, so prevent condensation. Exactly. So okay. It comes up, instead of coming up the expiratory, expiratory. Really? Excellent. Well, thank you very much for giving me a walkthrough. Yeah, you can take a brochure if you want. Oh, no, it's all right. I'm, no, I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, Trace services. I don't know trace services. Are they obviously? It looks like laser laser. So it looks like we do lasers and metal gas testing, a little bit of everything. Very cool. So I got go for medical. Hey, sir. Yes, sir. How's it going? Doing good, man. Good to see you. Welcome. How's it been going so far? Uh, this has been really good. Yeah. Today is obviously way more energetic than yesterday, but. Uh, no, it's, it's good. I've been talking a lot today. <laughs> Sorry. I'm talking a lot today, so my voice isn't all completely here. But you can tell, guys. Glad you can make it. What's that? Glad you can make it. Yeah, man. I, I wouldn't miss this for nothing. Actually, they invited me to come up and talk. So, you know, yesterday was the stressful day. Today is the easy day. I'm loving it, man. Let's see. We got Ben with order. That is a um, asset location and management system. Yeah. It puts a node in your network. So, hey, sir. We got Space Labs. Space Labs has got these little portable monitors. They're a little bit bigger than some of the competitors. But they're interesting. Definitely interesting. I haven't seen those in the wild yet. Okay, so let's see. It's down here. Holy cow, am I only halfway through? I think I'm only halfway through. Hey, we have another cash bar. All right. Woo. All right. So we got Dexy Solutions. There we go. Hey, sir. How you doing? We've got 626. We've got 
AIV. AIV, I've done videos of before on some of their products. They do a lot of the power taps. Um, they have some aftermarket stuff for infusion pumps. They do repairs, but uh, AIV does uh, quite a few things. You can see they got new uh, replacement panels. Some cool stuff. So we got, hey guys, how's it going? Provo Medical. Provo Medical, uh, I've done videos on their stuff before. See you broken, bro? Yeah, absolutely. Not broken, but yeah. I, I show people like inside. the insides of stuff all the time. Yeah, it's 3D, 4D Pro, moves back and forth. Oh, that's Makes cool. It's like the baby face Pro, that's what this right. is. So it's oh, the wow. same as this, except it's got the motion and it takes a bunch of slices, puts them all together and gives you a 4D image. It literally turns that into this. Oh, my camera's not picking it up. I wonder why. Give me hold up. Uh, it's just, uh, I don't know. My camera is, is freaking out because it's really kind of bad lighting yeah. in here. Well, it's mixed lighting, so you get two different color yeah. temperatures. There we go. There it is. All right. All right. So that just sweeps back and forth, takes this image, and turns it into that by sweeping back and forth. It takes a bunch of slices. Oh, wow. Like a loaf of bread. Okay. There's a nice slice of bread, and then there's the loaf from the top. So 3D ultrasound scans. Now you know how it happens. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Appreciate awesome. it. Innovatus Imaging. Hey, sir. How's it going? Aceterra, of course. Hey, how's it going? And they also have uh, open views of some ultrasound. So, so that's some of the cool stuff that you guys probably don't think about when you go to trade shows. And sometimes you don't have to go to the classes to learn stuff. You can go to some of the vendors that repair it, and you'll learn just as much. Thank you, sir. So we got a big display coming on for Drager, and we'll, we'll pop over there in just a minute. We got Cabnet. How's it going, man? Okay. You guys can see some of the booths. We got Fujifilm and Sonicite. How's it going, man? All parts medical. And I think I'm just gonna loop around and come back down this side because I missed some things. VC Group, I stopped at their booth early this morning before I got loud. Now we've got Drager. So Drager has really pulled out the stocks. They've got a um, incubator. There's an, one version of an anesthesia and it looks like there's another version of an anesthesia over here. And um, that's very cool. It's very expensive to ship these to, um, to trade shows and then demo them. And uh, Drager has done it here, so very cool. Very cool, guys. Okay, here we go. All right. So we are coming through. Hello, Sodexo. We've got Agility. We've got United Infusion. We're, we're going to loop back around. Hey guys, how's it going? Precision lasers. You guys do uh, calibrations and repairs and all that? We do. Oh, excellent. Uh, preventive maintenance uh, and repair medical lasers, uh, both surgical, ophthalmic, uh, dermatological. Okay. So are you guys in the Chicago area or are you elsewhere? Our, off our office oh. is up in Lake Zurich. Okay. Um, but the areas that we cover, we've also got a main office out in New Jersey, yep. and one out in California. No kidding. Uh, I'm down in Houston, so I'm not from Chicago, that's why I'm asking. Okay. Uh, and, and actually, I deal a lot with contracts, and I, they ask me all the time, like, can I service that? Can I service that? And usually, lasers are one of those taboo areas where it's really tough to find somebody that can really kind of help you out. Um, I, I don't know why, but... Uh, a lot of the information is proprietary or, yeah. you know, whatever. One or two David's cards. Um, Very cool. We, along with this area, we also go out to uh, Denver, uh, Grand Rapids, Colorado. Okay. Uh, Iowa, uh, Idaho, South Dakota, Alaska. That's cool. I like the video display. You guys want to see the inside of a laser head? 
Um, what you're looking at there is a homium laser, yep. and that is um, used in um, for surgery for stones. Yep. Yep. Cisto. Um, Cisto stuff. Yep. Anything that's hard. Right. Um, so it's. I tell everybody it's nothing more than a jackhammer. Right. Light. It's the frequency of the light pulse that actually uh, fragments and breaks up the it's, stones. Yeah, it's a pulse. Yeah. Um, and this here is a CO2 laser, the actual tube from the CO2 laser. And um, comparing cool. a scalpel with an ESU, where it cuts and coagulates with RF energy, the CO2 laser cuts and coagulates with light. Right. So. Right. Very cool. It's just stuff that I pulled out of lasers over the year, and I bring it in because... Well, to I me, know to me it's neat. This component right here is rather expensive, and uh, normally we don't get to see inside it because uh, they won't pour it out once you open it up. Yeah. I, I used to work on some lasers and stuff. Uh, I have a, a YouTube channel where we talk about medical technology, okay. and uh, so that's why I love showing the inside of stuff and whatnot yeah. when we get there. Would you have an apple cart? Sure, of course, absolutely. There you go. All right. Excellent. Well, I'm always curious about some of the cooler aspects of medical technology, and uh, lasers are definitely it. <laughs> what, what's neat is on this guy here, it's this piece here that's the actual laser. Right. And then it bounces between these two mirrors and becomes a laser, and then this is just delivery. So these two right here give you your focal length and your uh, your focus. Um, no. Not really. Um, laser beam bounces between two optics to gain energy, and it's okay. this optic and this optic here. Right. So inside here, the beam is very weak, but as soon as it leaves this optic and heads this way, that's where all your power is at. It comes through here, bounces across, and then heads out to the fiber, which is attached up here. So where's your main shutter on this one? Um, right there. Okay, gotcha. So when that opens up, the beam goes straight right. out. And when it's closed, it hits that and doesn't go anywhere. So very cool. But people always. See <laughs> I've this. never looked inside one. I've I've had to pull them before, and like I said, I know they're crazy expensive. It's every once in a while, I'll have a doctor or a nurse come in that uses a laser all the time, and they see this box that's this and this deep, and I have the covers off, and I'm like, this right here is your laser. And they're like, it's that little piece. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because everything else supports. <laughs> that right so. very cool well thanks for your time Thank guys you. appreciate Have it good show. absolutely Mantic. Mantic. we've got johnson controls now johnson controls does a lot of stuff with industry but notice that they're also getting into nurse call and some other stuff um johnson controls has been around the industry for a long time so Chronos Imaging. We got Skytron. Skytron is actually, I think, based out of Michigan. So it's proper that they give a representation here. Nurio. Very cool. These are the only empty booths in the entire show. Mesa Electronics. Very cool. I like that display. I think they got one of the best looking displays here. And then Vante Health Solutions. They got one of the front booths. What's up guys? How's it going? Doing good. Hey man. So they're, they're front and center. So anybody that comes in, they're going to walk by them. Wow. Hey. So anyway, sorry guys. That might have been a little bit of a bouncy video. Uh, I'm trying the best I can. I'm also holding my jacket. And that is, in itself, you know, getting heavy at the moment. Um, I wish I could stay and talk to some more people, and I'm going to do that right now. Uh, this is the best part of the show for me, is going through and talking to vendors. This is also the opportunity for you guys, if you ever come to one of these shows and you're looking for maybe new employment opportunities, this is where you do it. Many of the people that were in that show are people that make decisions for companies, and if you're curious about a new technology, you're looking for a new job, this is where you go. You find out about new products coming out, this is where you go. So anyway guys, uh, I'm going to take another walk through, talk to some more people, 
and uh, enjoy the rest of the Illinois Biomed Symposium, which has been an amazing turnout, guys. I'm easily seeing a couple hundred people here, so it's good times. Thanks for watching, guys.